Surprise around the corner. <laughs> Surprise around the corner. You might get this. You might get that. You might get hit with a baseball bat. Surprise around the corner. Ay, 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 That's a lot of damn confetti today. Hey, but shit. Hey, buddy. Welcome to Surprise Around the Corner. How you guys doing? How my corner boys and corner girls doing? Give me a hug. And I'm so tired of being in this motherfucking house. But here we go. How's everybody doing today? I'm all right. Getting a little cabin fever, but um, I might go outside and um roller skate outside in front of my house. Like I don't know, I'm just kind of bored. <sighs> yeah, I'm just kind of bored, but it is. I'm gonna get through it, like we all gonna get through it. So, like I said, everybody like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that red thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell right there on the side over there. Let you know when I post new videos. So today I'm doing a video about there's this. YouTuber named Sarkaz, and she did a bunch of Q&A questions, and um, here's a bunch of questions that I took from her, and I'm going to give to you guys, okay? So, number one question is, what is on my bucket list? What is on my bucket list? Now, um, the motherfucker has lived. I done traveled around the world. I done did this, that, that was, that was a lot of things. Um... But the one thing on my bucket list that I want to do is I want to fly to Thailand with my cousin, a.k.a. my best friend. I want to fly to Thailand with me, me and my cousin Tasha. I want to go to Thailand. Me and her go there for three, four days or a week and just have a ball. So that's what I want to do on my bucket list. Go to Thailand with my cousin Tasha. Oh my god, that's gonna be so fucking dope. And it's gonna happen, so I don't give a fuck how it was, it's gonna happen. Okay, number two is what foods, what food spots would I recommend in New York City? Okay, I'm a New Yorker, so I was born and raised in New York. So, um, yeah, I go to a lot of spots, I go to a lot of places to eat and everything. One of my favorite restaurants here in New York City is called Vandal. It's downtown. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like a Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, a.k.a. Slash Fashion, a.k.a. Ash, crazy art and amazing food. It's called Vandal. So look it up. If I would definitely recommend that if you come to New York City. All types of foods. And another thing is, like, since I'm a Harlem Knight, I live in Harlem, Um, we have a lot of soul food here. So a lot of people say, oh, a lot of people say, Oh, should we go to Sylvia's? Don't go to Sylvia's. Sylvia's is supposed to be the well-known soul food queen here in New York. I mean, in um, Harlem. She's not around no more. She passed away, and the food isn't the same. So, in, on weekends, you see buses loads full of, you know, tourists coming in to eat to her. But us, as Harlem Knights, you know, yeah. So, another place I would... Well, two more places I would recommend is... um. Oh, my God. What's the name of that damn restaurant? Oh, well, shit, I forgot that one. But one place that I would recommend is called Melba's. Melba's is on 114th and 8th Avenue in Harlem. And Melba is Sylvia's niece. And what she does, she has soul food and everything, but what she's known for is her fried chicken with eggnog waffles. She makes eggnog waffles with a strawberry butter. That fried chicken and waffles, woo! So good, so I recommend that. It's called Melba's. Um, another question someone asked me. They asked me, um, what family sitcom would I want to be on? Weird, but this different question. You know, it's, it's, it's okay. But I thought about it. And, um, what sitcom that I would... There's two. There's two. One is my favorite. My favorite sitcom in the world is Good Times with J.J. and Walona and James Evans. That's my favorite sitcom. But, uh, like, if I was to be, like, if you could be in that, that family, I wouldn't want to be in good times. I, I, you know, like, me growing up, my father, he was a drug dealer. But he, we had money. We, we were living comfortable. You know, we never wanted for anything. We always had you know, gourmet foods, we always had designer clothes, we always had the plush house, like, it was beautiful, so, 
to me, we were raised like the Cosby show. But just at, just take away the lawyer and the doctor and just include the drugs. We were raised like that, the Cosby show. But I wouldn't mind being cut a rich cousin to JJ in them. So I would, you know, live in a Bill Cosby house like that. But if I had broke cousins, I would go over and hang with my cousins in good times. You know, Michael and Thelma and JJ and them, I would go to Chicago and I would chill with them. So I would be their cousin. So those would be the two sitcoms that I would be on. Um, Another thing is, do I like seafood? Hell yeah. The bigger the lot, I like Brazilian lobster tails. I like South African lobster tails. Brazilian um, lobster tails are very much sweeter. But I love anything. Scallops, fried fish, crabs, mussels, oysters, anything. I'm a Pisces, so I'm a fish by heart. So I belong in the water, so I eat. I don't know. I love seafood, you know. Something, another question. Something that I tried that I would never do again. That's easy. Two things I would never do. I would never go ice skating again. That shit hurts like a motherfucker. The inside of your legs. I thought they would have like two blades side by side so you could... No, that shit is one blade. So you're like... No, no. And another thing I would, I did before that I would never do again is ride a horse. Whoo! Number one, every time I think of a horse, I think of Superman. The man that played Superman and the, 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 the horse jumped up and he fell, broke his damn neck. So... I ain't fucking with no horses. I'm not riding the horses or I'm not in the ice skating. That shit hurts. Especially when you're on the horse and you're going like this. You get off the inside of your legs and killing you. I was like, fuck that shit. I ain't never doing that again. Um, another question is, um, would I prefer to live in the country or the city? I'm a city boy. Born and raised in the boogie down Bronx in, in New York City. I'm a city boy by heart. There's nowhere else I would live. Well, yeah, there is. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, I'm a city boy. The country's too slow for me. I mean, it's nice to visit, but come on. I got to move, 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 move. That's me. You know, like, I'm, you know, I just can't be there sitting like this. Listening to the crickets, watching cars go by. That's just not me. It's, it's cool. I would do it, but to live, you know. No, so I prefer the, the um the city. And um one more question. Where were you raised and where else do you wish that you could have been raised at? Now, like I said, I was born and raised in the Bronx. I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world. I, it taught me everything I know. It shows you how to watch the streets and you know what I'm saying, how to keep your grass cut to see the snakes coming, you know, before they come. So, you know, the Bronx is good, but I know, by me traveling a lot, I love two places I would love to live. Los Angeles, not so much just the city of Los Angeles, but California, and um, London. London is so dope. So, I, I mean, I would prefer California, living up in the hills and the beaches, because it's so different from New York City. New York City is dark, Gotham, big skyscrapers, great skyscrapers, so much concrete and congestion and people. California, you go up in the hills, get away, it's more spread it out a little bit. You know, things like that. So, um, yeah, those are a couple of questions that um were given to me and I'm giving it to you guys. So, um, if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm coming back to you for another video today. So you stay tuned, motherfuckers, and don't go nowhere. Okay? Surprise around the corner. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.